Hey, Professor Plum, welcome. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Scarlet, welcome. Make yourself at home. Mrs. White, Mr. Green, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. Colonel Mustard, Mr. Peacock, welcome. Thank you, everyone's here now, it's perfect. What is the meaning of this? Why are we all here? I understand your concern. I'm grieved to say a murder took place in this house. And you guys were the six people most recently here, so you are six main suspects. How dare you convict me of murder? I'm sorry, Mr. Green. I'm not convicting you of murder. That's not what it is. I'm just gonna, you know, we've got to go through a lot of questions here. As you know, Mr. Tingle died last week. There was a knife to his heart, and we don't know who did it, but we want answers. Especially myself. I was a close friend to him. I know you guys were close with him, too, so I don't really understand why any of you would kill him. There must be some dark reasons I don't know about. Does anyone have anything to share that would help us solve this case? Well, I personally hated him, but I would never kill someone. Why do you hate him? Because he, he won't let me in the house anymore because of this. That is kind of freaky. Yes, yes. it's just a mutation. It, it's but a little it's setback. still freaky. Yeah, okay. It's still quite freaky. It, yeah, it's kind of, kind of disturbing. I mean, I'd be kind of scared. Yeah. Um, okay. I saw Mr. Green arguing with Mr. Tingle a week before his death. He didn't do it. As I said, I did not murder anyone. Your face. At all, I did it. This happened a few days ago. On October 1st, Mr. Tingle was killed in the control room. Okay? I mean, I just, we gotta find out who did this. I think Mr. Scarlet did it. No, I took him to the airport last week on that exact day. It couldn't have been him. It's true. I was going to Las Vegas. Is that true? Yes, I I remember it exactly. I took him to the airport so he could go on a business trip to Las Vegas. Okay, and you both can verify each other were yes. not anywhere near this house that October 1st. Yes. yes. Okay. Because our foot was at okay. a very long drive there. All right, uh, you two are free to go then. Thank you. So Thank you for your time. Here. Thank you for your time. How dare you question me murdering my own brother? I was at the store at the time in Wyoming. Really? You even prove it with this receipt. Do you have a receipt? All right. Yeah, the date does line up. Okay. Th I took corner. into a, a private flight to the Bahamas. On October 1st? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you guys can both con con confirm that. You were in Bahamas <coughs> October 1st. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're free to go. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Master. Thank you, Mr. Pico. So what do you have to say to yourself, Mr. Green? I didn't do it! Really? Where were you October 1st then, huh? Uh, at home? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I heard a lawnmower say that you were at this house on October 1st. No, I wasn't. I was coming to drop off a cake for him. He oh, so you're lying to me now. Uh, no, I wasn't. I'm calling the police on you, all right? You're no, going to have a no, long no, time no. in jail, I Mr. Green. A me. long time in jail, Mr. No. Green. I have to confess. Mr. Scarlet bribed me. He murdered Mr. Tingle. It was not any of us. He did it. He bribed me so I wouldn't tell. What? What? So the whole thing about Las Vegas is fake? Yes, I'm afraid so. Wow. Why are you smiling about this, you little... How much did he pay you for this? This is $500. Keep this secret. Thank you, I will. Goodbye now. Huh? 500 bucks. That? What a mystery. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He paid me an awful lot. I couldn't refuse. I didn't mean I would never do it again. That doesn't make your actions any worse. I mean better. It was either that or he was going to kill me. I had no choice. Is it true? Did you tell him, Mr. Poole? Yes, yes, I did. I, I didn't mean I'm you really sorry. You have no choice. That's what happened to you,